Good morning, Libra. We're with a general reading for the sign of Libra. Um, this reading could resonate with anyone who has Libra strongly in their chart. My beautiful friends, please be discerning um, when it comes to this reading, and please make sure that it is fitting with you. The, the goal of this reading is to help you come away with it, feeling inspired, um, feeling comforted and confident of the future, not feeling down or upset. So um, it, it is there. I am asking you for discernment as you listen to this reading to make sure it really fits um, with you. All right, let's go ahead and get started now, Libra. Current energy for this group of Libra people. Current energy. Current energy for this group of Libra people, please. Current energy for this group of Libra people. Current energy for this group of Libra people, please. Current energy for this group of Libra people. So we get through the whole deck once. See what's let's see what's here for the incoming future the next incoming immediate future for libra the next immediate wave of energy the next seven to ten days or the next couple of weeks next three weeks however quickly this libra group is moving we're looking for the information on the next incoming future here This group of Libra people. There's something beautiful happening here. Um, I'm getting a lot of cards that are that are flipping. We have the Ace of Wands flipping. We have the Nine of Cups flipping. Those energies aren't out of, on the table yet, but it does give me some indication that there's something here happening um, that's going to ultimately bring you some kind of success here. Whether it's actually here yet or not, we'll have to see. I'm feeling like a little bit of pressure here in the future, but I don't necessarily feel that it's bad. I think it is bringing in some change that you're, you have been working towards. I think I have it here. All right, and let's look at guidance now. Looking at guidance for Libra. Looking at guidance for Libra now. Libra, I'm in a different location this week, so um, I know that you really can't see me shuffling very well, but I have short arms. All right, guidance. Okay, let's get started. Let me get this laid out. This deck that I'm using is called Wheel of the Year, and I will be um, having a extended reading at the end where I'll look into specific energies here for you, Libra, and then take the situation out. So I'll look at four different months or four different waves of energy. Wow, what is happening? Something is happening, Libra. Something is happening here. Well, this is a group of Libra people who have successfully, okay, so this is where you are now. So this, if this resonates with you, Libra, this could be um, a story that fits with you, realizing that this is a general reading um, and we need to be flexible on what we're looking at. You can exchange the roles or um, you could be a cross watcher here, or whatever, however you're, you're fitting in with this reading. I do see something um, beginning to happen here. I do see a group of people that have uh, found themselves in a position of independence, in a position of financial reliability, financial reliance on themselves, in a place of personal empowerment, and um, just enjoying their time, enjoying their life. The Queen of Cups is here, so this is telling me that there is a sense of internal wellness. 
um, heart chakra um, content contentedness. Um, there is um, a healing that has taken place and life is good for this group of Libra people. Life is good. Um, the, the fact that we have the nine of pentacles here tells me that there's still something that you're searching for with the nine of pentacles. The nine of pentacles is an energy of personal reliance and uh, personal choice and personal strength and um, enjoyment of life and enjoyment of finances and reaping rewards for your hard work. And, and next to the sun is just, um, it's a beautiful time period. It's a time period where you're feeling strong and vibrant and good about life. Um, you've had, you've healed from situations of the past, or you're in an energy of really focusing on wellness, internal wellness, um, understanding that um, self-awareness, self-awareness of how you're feeling in your life has really been a part of the success story for you. Um, it's, it's, it's a combination of um, some different elements of life that have come together to really make a beautiful situation for you. Um, the fact that you're in the Nine of Pentacles tells me there's still still something here that you're searching, maybe for a team to be on, maybe to find a person that you can walk with in life. Uh, maybe it is to um, connect in with uh, with somebody within an industry or with a with a business partner or to find some sort of career that really matches um, some kind of um, desire that you have in the future. Um, it tells me that there is there's some sort of a focus here on creating some sort of a, a finality with a foundation, um, which is the the energy of relaxation and peace in life and it is a long-term legacy type of energy so you could be working on creating a family creating a very powerful business um, there's something here that you're still looking for and if i move over to this other energy we have the ace of cups here next to the sun which is an amazing type of energy and you have the page of cups next to the ace of cups with a magician over the top of those two energies so I think that you're working on manifesting some kind of new inspiration. You could be working on manifesting love in your life. Um, you could be working on bringing in um, nurturing and stability and new inspiration or rejuvenation to your own family or your own intimate relationship um, with the page of cups next to the ace of cups this talking this is talking about a new warmth a new revitaliz revitalization a new introduction that is going to be a part of a grander more um vibrant love story and with the ace of cups this is talking about a new beginning in love so for many of you you have reached a place of stability and empowerment in your lives and now you're working on really bringing in some kind of new love or inspiration in your life and you're really focusing on that right now and this could be um, inspiration within a career. This could be inspiration just with life in general, um, looking for something new to do, looking for some new vibrant opportunity, or for many of you, this is looking for love in a new kind of way or looking to revitalize love with the Ace of Cups and the, and the Page of Cups with the Magician over the top. You know, it's clearly to me, that's what these energies are saying. So let's go ahead and look at what's happening in the next immediate future here for you, knowing that we're looking at a short period of time right? We're looking at a short period of time here. So we have to be sort of um, realistic on what can happen in a short period of time. That said, you can always take this reading and apply it to yourself in a more epic way. If you wish, these readings are for you. Um, I just um, want, I'm just asking you to be discerning and, and um, yeah, I don't need to say it anymore. You understand what I mean. I've already said that during the shuffling. I don't need to repeat it. For some reason, I'm wanting to... There is a little bit of a change of energy here um, because I'm wanting to do the cards differently for some reason, and I'm not really sure why it's almost like there's a little bit of a change in energy oh and i do see the death energy here so there is um, some sort of change here coming in so when i get into the the princess of wands energy this is feeling youthful this is feeling excited about life this is looking at your future in a in a new way 
um, broadening horizons, opening doorways, feeling useful, feeling strong, feeling a new vital um, vitality within yourself, um, looking forward into the future. And then also with the Princess of Swords, looking outward into the future as well. So there, there is two different energies here, which is interesting with these page energies. Um, you could have children around you, you could have people that are younger around you. Uh, but I think for many of you, this is you um, looking out, understanding how broad your life can be and how and in many directions you can go, feeling useful um, and feeling excited about the future. Then on the other hand, having a sense of impatience and watching, um, it's almost like two opposite types of energy. You know within your mind of all the capacities and all the different doorways and all the different opportunities that are in front of you in your life. Like you have that passion within you and you have that youthfulness. And then on the other hand, you have this watching, this watching energy um, to see who is around the corner. It's almost like you know what you can do, you know what your capacity is, but for some reason there is this acknowledgement here that there's something else that you're looking for. There's something, there's, there's a little bit more than you're looking, that you're looking for and you're watching for that to happen. It's, 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 it's like a mind over heart kind of energy. And I think when I get in this energy, there's almost a little bit of frustration with this. There's almost a little bit of frustration with this energy. It's being excited about the future, looking forward to a beautiful, abundant future, a passionate, adventuresome future, knowing that you have it within you to um, expand your horizons and to go on all kinds of different adventures and to have um, amazing periods of time in your life ahead. And then also kind of watching and waiting for something that you are in, in a way in need of in some way, in need of it. It's, it's almost like you're you're, you're almost waiting to set forward into this for something that you're needing to have, which I think for many of you, it could even be a teammate, um, a life mate, a business partner. It's like you're ready to go, but you, there's something here that you're waiting and watching for, feeling like it's around the corner, feeling like it's around the corner. That's kind of how it feels here with these two energies, does it not? It's almost like you're looking ahead, but it's like you want to have eyes behind your head too. You want to have eyes in the back of your head too, to see who's coming towards you. Because for some reason you feel like something is coming towards you that you're not going to see and you need that thing that's coming towards you. It's a very interesting energy that I feel here. Now we do have the death energy, which is a Scorpio energy. So there could be um, a Scorpio or um, some sort of Scorpio type person that um, is around you, but I think this is you here um, having gone through some kind of a transformation, um, being transformed and not the same as you ever will be. You'll never be able to go back to the person that you were before. So you've gone through a great transformation and you probably have had to sacrifice a lot in your life to get to this place, whether it was a lifestyle that you had or a family that you had, or even, you know, a career that you had or even you could have lost someone, someone could pass, could have passed away and you have had to start over, but there is a starting over kind of energy and just kind of getting through the days now with the two of pentacles, juggling life, getting through the days, making daily decisions, um, creating lists. It's an energy that you're in, you're in a very spirited kind of energy, a very strong energy, very vital with a lot of vitality within you. A lot of strength here with this death energy, but it's almost like you're 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 waiting. There's a there's a sense of waiting while doing, waiting while doing. Like these these energies are on a teeter totter. I mean, this teeter totter isn't going anywhere. It's just kind of staying there. But there's things that are being done here. There's decisions that may, being made, daily work that's being done. But it has an energy of look at all the fierceness that we have here. The, the power that we have here in this two of pentacles kind of energy it's it's a it's 
it's a bit of a paradox as you move into the, um, and I don't even know this paradox is not really the right word. Um, it's almost like you're, you're, you're ready to go. You're revved up and ready to go, but you're just not going anywhere just yet. It's like you're waiting for a vacation, but you don't really know when the vacation is going to be here. That kind of an energy. We do have the Knight of Swords here with the Wheel of Fortune. So it does seem like there's something going to be coming in. You're either going to be connecting. See, this energy is very much the same color as yours here. And this energy is almost like up here. <sighs> something may be happening here in this regular life that you're living. There's something that may be happening in the world around you or in the reality around you that might be sending you forward in a different kind of energy. There, there could be a need here for you to begin to speak your truth or begin to move forward in a different kind of a way. This kind of energy that you're in, it may not be getting you to where, because around us the way i see it and and i don't even know if this is true because none of us really know for sure of what happens in the invisible world but it's but how i feel it happens with my energy work and how i can feel energies i feel like there's grid lines around us right it's around us almost like how they make movies with cartoons where they have grid lines and they can kind of i don't really know how it works but that's kind of how i imagine um, energy to be. So if we're sitting in one place, the grid lines around us are, are working as they always have, and they're affecting other people as they always have, and everything is kind of in uniform, is working in unison. What would happen if we would do something different? We would get excited about something else, or we would do something different, or we would start speaking our truth, or we would start moving forward in a new way in some way. Those grid lines would all start to change, and they would start to affect the environment around you in a different way. Um, because if we start making different movements, those grid lines have to change. And whatever those grid lines touch on the other end of the grid line is affecting whatever they touch. And all of a sudden, things begin to move. I almost feel like in the coming period of time, um, there could be something that you begin doing that's just a little bit different. You could be starting to manifest your your new um your new dreams here by speaking them out loud. Sometimes when we speak, words can really help us manifest. Even if we don't have something entirely completed, we can say that we do, um, or we can talk about our dreams as if they are almost there. The, the power that we have with words is significant. And the Knight of Swords is, is an expression type of energy, speaking your truth. Um, you, there could be something here that you're wanting to do that could really surprise people around you. It could really shock people around you. It could really even make some people angry around you with the Knight of Swords. So I just feel like in the coming period of time, there's probably something that you're going to be saying or doing that could be a, a, a surprising to other people. But when you do this, it could start the ball rolling here with the Wheel of Fortune. Now, another way to read this energy, Libra, is to um, to read it as as there's something that's going to be happening in the future that could be coming towards you. Somebody could be coming towards you with some kind of truth. But for many of you, since these colors are the same, I feel like for many of you, it's you in this energy moving forward and getting the ball rolling on something by speaking your by speaking your truth or writing something. There could be something you're doing with writing or recording, sharing information with other people, moving forward with some sort of a presentation with the Knight of Swords. Whatever this is, it's going to have an element of direct truth. It's going to have an element of surprise even with the Knight of Swords. It could move into other people's realities and surprise them. Because the Knight of Swords is, is often a fast-moving, quick, direct, surprising type of um, incoming energy that could just surprise people. And I, and it's interesting that you have the death energy here, which tells me that there's been some sort of a transformation. Um, it, it's probably some type of type of internal transformation because we see you here excited about the future, going about your days with this internal transformation and sort of watching to see, okay, when is this going to start happening with me? So these energies are very much the same. And I think for many of you, it's you stepping forward in a new way 
um, to kind of get the ball rolling in some sort of new avenue that you're wanting to step forward in, in whatever way, whether it's a relationship or um, a new job, a new career, a new life path, um, something that you're really wanting to do that, that brings joy and, and vitality to your life. Um, because it's the, tra it's the transformation energy, it's very well be that you have some different kinds of thoughts, some different kinds of ideas, some different kinds of desires that you used to. And when you come forward with this new expression or this new project or this new um, desire that you have, this new truth that's inside of you, it could be surprising for people. But I think um, when that energy comes in, whether it's you or another person or another situation, it could really get the wheel of fortune rolling here, which is new momentum, new happenings, new forward movement in whatever this um, journey is that you're on. So I think in the next few weeks or in the next month, there's going to be something here that begins to take place that's going to be different for you. Um, and it has something to do with communication, expression, truth telling truth seeking and it could be some sort of a surprising element with that as well so it's it's kind of um, an exciting period of time it can also be somewhat frustrating here with the page of swords it's a learning kind of an energy a vulnerability energy i'm um, an awkward type of energy here as you move through into this new period of time for yourself so um let's go ahead and look at the guidance here Let's look at the guidance that's coming forward. Moon, Five of Wands, Page of Pentacles, Hermit. Well, it doesn't surprise me that the Hermit's here because you have the death energy. So usually um, the death energy is hand in hand with the Hermit, which talks about really going deep inside, um, going through experiences in life, and then going deep inside and really um, analyzing what happened, digging deep into what happened, looking at your role, what what your role was in the past, what other people's roles were, why did you do what, the things that you did, and why did other people do the things that they did, and really seeing the truth of things and finding enlightenment in that. And usually the hermit will come back out of the cave or come back out of this period of, of deep reflection and change something about what they're doing. Um, because the hermit is a master walker. He's a master liver. And he doesn't change because other people suggest he does. He doesn't change because of the, um, the, the fad of the times or what's in style or what's the cool thing to do. He changes because of some sort of deep reflection and some sort of new enlightenment um, that he finds. And, and because of that, he'll change. Not, maybe not a whole lot, but there's something that the hermit does um, that that is so special and so beautiful um, in his life. And that is to always begin, always walk forward in a way that is um, is in wisdom, is with enlightenment, is with a kindness and a compassion, but a true vigor for the truth in life. And I like that this hermit is carrying this lamp, this lamp of hope, lamp of inspiration, lamp of encouragement as he moves forward in his life, whether he's a teacher or whether he just teaches through his example. Um, other people are inspired and encouraged by the by the walk that he has. And so I think that's probably you, Libra, in this in this transformational phase that you're in. We do start off this guidance with the moon energy, which is talking about um, what we can easily see in the day, but what we can't really see it in when it's dark. And the, the nighttime is such a really beautiful period of time because don't our deepest desires come out in the nighttime when we're in bed and, and we're thinking about things, our worries can come forward, our dreams for the future can come forward. We can dream and we can think about um, how our lives would like to go. But there is a sense here of the unknown with the moon energy. And it's really scary to move into the unknown um, because there's so many... <sighs> There's so many different things that can happen to us as we step into the unknown. And I feel like we're talking about the unknown here. Um, with the Two of Pentacles and with this Page of Swords that we have in the current or the next future energy, um, we do see this kind of watching and waiting um, as kind of a stabilization, maybe even a, um, distractions in life, um, getting through the day, maybe procrastinating on some major changes that we'd like to make. Um, I think that in a sense, many, many of the Libras here could have some kind of internal conflict about moving out of stability and into something more dynamic, more um, 
I say dynamic and I mean dynamic, but along with dynamic and changes comes vulnerability, comes um, fear of consequences, whatever that is, the five of pentacles, whatever it is, we have another five here. We have the five of wands. So I think this is talking about some type of internal conflict, um, how we can have internal conflict within ourselves about moving into the unknown. We can have two different ways of thoughts. And we do see that with a page of wands with the page of swords over the top you know we could be thinking you know maybe if i wait long enough i'll have a friend that will go and do this with me or if i wait long enough i think somebody is coming around the corner and i think maybe you know it's almost like there's a wanting you you know your strength but it's almost like you're wanting to have someone to to walk with or to lean on in this situation um i've been there before too i i can feel this energy and it sounds like something i have been in before too where it's do you go alone? Do you stay and you wait? Or what do you do when you have this kind of vibrant energy and a desire to change your life, a desire to do something different? Um, and it's it's a good question. Um, but what what I would say here is it's it's really it's really betting on something. If we're going to bet on waiting for someone to come around, um, if if it, what I've learned in my life, um, in my own experiences, is take a step, take an action doesn't have to be radical. It doesn't have to be huge, but take an action forward. Um, waiting for something else to happen that you don't know will happen. You don't know what will happen and waiting for that vague, um, vague energy that you can feel is, is sometimes it can bring us, it can be an illusion. It can, it can have us waiting our life away, waiting our year away, waiting our month away when we could be taking action, having adventures, meeting new people, learning new things, expanding our soul. <laughs> so my, my, the, the, the guidance that's coming forward here is a guidance here that looks like you could have some kind of a, could, um, a conflict, a conflict within yourself or a conflict, even in your outer world, um, where you, if you would step into this new experience, you would step into this new life or this new life path or this new relationship or whatever it is, there could be some kind of a conflict within yourself or even a conflict in your community or within your family. And you're not quite sure of what the consequences of that will be with the moon energy. It could be something that is coming out of the woodwork that you are carrying with you that could have some kind of conflict in your environment. Um, so whatever this is, there's an unknown here that I think is maybe a little bit of a block for you. The guidance here is to look at, look at the, with the Princess of Pentacles, this is an energy of the Page of Pentacles. There's an energy here of um, looking at your victories, looking at indications of success that are around you. What are you doing now that is being successful? What are you doing that is, you're really good at with the Page of Pentacles? And what are you doing that you're seeing some signs of success? There could be something here, um, a hint for you to really kind of look at what are those indications around you? What kind of activities are really leading you to um, feeling empowered and um, what what's really where are the energies in your life that are bringing in that sun energy that are bringing in that empowerment energy because it might be a hint here to begin to follow those energies dig deeper into those energies expand on those energies because it feels like here with the pinch with the with the princess of pentacles that there are messages coming in of significance um tangible indications of improvement in your life and those areas those in, in um, those, those um, stable indications of success that are coming towards you could be um, little clues and hints as to how to move forward, um, even if it's not taking huge steps, but only small steps. It could be kind of helping you direct yourself in, in certain ways and cer onto certain pathways by looking at what is going well in your life and kind of digging deeper into those areas of your life that are going really well. Um, it's almost like it could be leading you into areas, showing you the way just by where the organic success is. Um, organic success to me is things kind of just happening very easily that are successful. And usually those kinds of energies revolve around our natural abilities, our natural talents. So we're talking about looking at what our natural talents are, our natural abilities are, and where our successes are right now, because you're really in a successful place right now, Libra. Where are those successes? And those might, that might be clues and hints as to what to do next or how you could do something next and where to move next. 
um, into where those successes are happening, where it's sort of just unfolding for you very naturally. You might want to just step a little deeper into those energies and see what would happen if you would take some more action um, relating to those to those um, activities. So that's the guidance here for Libra. Um, I hope this has helped you, Libra. I am going to go into the extended now and look deeper um, at what could be um, more that could more information that could be here, and then I'll take the situation out into the future I'll, and see how the next few few months are going to go with this situation and how you can kind of expect this to move forward. So let me see what energies I want to dig into here. Well, I want to definitely dig into the Wheel of Fortune to see what this is. And I do want to dig into this Knight of Swords to see what this is that, that you're doing or what kind of energy that you're stepping into or that's coming towards you. Um, I want to look at what you're, you're, what you're manifesting here. Um, I, I, you know, I usually want to go into the Ace of Cups. We have an Ace of Cups here with the Prince of Cups. But the fact is that, that you're manifesting it. I think tells me that it's not quite here yet, but maybe I'll go into this energy anyway to see what could be here in the future. Let me see if there's anything else. I think those are the energies that might be the most significant here for you. So um, I think what I'm going to do is look in the Wheel of Fortune, look at this Knight of Swords that's here, look at this manifestation energy that you're working on to see if we can get more information about what's being created. And then we have this Ace of Cups. Um, I like that the, the magician is over the top of the Ace of Cups. That tells me that there is something here that's beginning to brew. So let's dig deeper into that and see what we can find with that. Um, and so that's what the extended will be. I'll dig into these four energies and I'll take this scenario out or through the next four waves of incoming energy. That's how I prefer to say it, just because tarot and timing, um, it can be quite confusing and is often inaccurate, but I think it's much more accurate when we talk about waves of energy than it is months, but you can take it as it really resonates more with you and um, see, you know, it, it'll be helpful either way. All right, for those of you that are satisfied with this reading, that makes me really happy. Those of you that are looking for more information, feel free to go to the extended and um, I'll meet you on the other side. All right, thank you very much, Libra. It is, it is always a pleasure to read for you. Thank you.